How would I know that would affect affect that? <laughs> All right, we're good to go. All right. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Round two. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Damn, the last time we tried to do this was difficult with Mindy. But, alright. Be in the moment with it. Just feel it from your gut. Feel your, feel your body where you're at nah, right now. Nah, we're straight, man. We're doing shit. Right into it. We yeah, we do this shit all the time, bro. I like that joke. <laughs> what the fuck? Though. That's what I'm sad about. That's okay. We'll get back to it. We'll get back to it, huh? All right, let's do it. I don't even want to talk about I don't even want to give him his name. I <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on. Fuck man. you. Y'all fuck tripping, you. man. <laughs> I'm fucking tripping, man. <laughs> I'm all looking because, hey, like. I'm, I'm forever mad at anybody that talks shit about him. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> about oh. Okay, yeah. I see where I you're at. I, I see where you're at now. <laughs> ba, da, da. I see where you're and at. And yes, he's, he's made what? some garbage albums. He's dope, but he ain't but he's got, dope. He's got bars on just about everything. He does. But he, can't, he hasn't evolved his sound, which is what I... <laughs> That's exactly what Joe Budden, Budden said, yeah. bro. I understand. <laughs> Joe Budden because he's, he's nobody. <laughs> because he's I'm retired. Somebody not evolving their sound when you don't even make fucking music. We don't even anymore. make music yeah, anymore. That's, that's, like, that's a good point. I feel. I do feel that. I do <laughs> feel that. I do feel that for sure. And and somebody will still buy an Eminem album just based off the name. We have yeah, fuck your brother. There, there, <laughs> That's all he does is talk shit. Whatever, man. You love that nigga. It's a free country, bro. Free country. <laughs> free country, bro. You can say whatever That's the hell you want. That's just a hating ass old nigga. He old and bitter because his shit know, didn't man. take off. Fuck Joe Biden. His podcast is, it, I'm telling you, bro, it's like the number one podcast. Our podcast is taking off. People just like to hear people just do nothing. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's money, bro. It's, mo- funny, bro. it's money. If you get to the greenbacks, that's what's important. You know what? I don't like it. I think we gave Joe Button enough time. Moving on. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Young Hippie. We back in the bakery. And uh, it's episode 18, man. I'm feeling good. I got my boys with me. Hey, Jones, what's good, my guy? What's going on? Round two, huh? Round two. (laughs) We had to get some water, Gatorade, all that good shit. K-Boogie, how you feeling, man? Uh, Always... Always good here. Always Just, good. You know, it's a bakery. How can it be a bad day? <laughs> Just funny things happen, huh? And we got the boys from up north, Modest Rod in the building. How you doing, fellas? What's happening? Doing yeah. great, man. Back like you never left. Doing good. Like, never <laughs> left. like I've been here all along. You know what right. I'm saying? So, for those of you who don't know, I don't know. <laughs> what? I don't even know. I'm so lost right now. Fuck it. It is Sunday. The, the The weather has been crazy. We got snow on the mountains. Unusual for us city boys, really, to be driving down the freeway and see snow on the mountain. What the fuck is going on? It's the apocalypse. It's apocalypse. The world is ending. That like was uh, no, for real. Arizona yeah, no. is the number one spot to like. To well, at least hit. Phoenix, like, to never have snow in your whole lifetime growing up yeah. here. It's like. Don't expect snow unless you go up north, Johnny. And now, exactly. You be, like, you be looking at it too, like, damn, what? the world is really about to end. Oh, like, like, yeah, <laughs> there's no. snow on the mountain. It's like, Every oh, time shit. you hear a like, jet fly over your house and shit, you like, hit the deck, yeah, motherfucker. Right. <laughs> you be looking like, damn, that, that jet's really flying low oh, right now. Is this a drill? <laughs> we don't get no sirens, no nothing. I see what's going on. Oh, it's been a crazy week other than the weather, man. I started the home bakery. I've been busy as fuck just baking cakes out my ass, but I can't lie. The outcome has been extremely satisfying. Um, so thank you anybody who's listening that has bought anything off of me this past weekend. It's been a pleasure serving you and treating you and your family. I hope all you guys enjoy that. Make sure you, you shout also it brought- out. We just tried some before the show. Yeah, yeah. we just yeah. had it. Oh, you ain't had some, get some. I'm going to have some right now. Look at him. But uh, other than that, man, the week's been solid. K-Book, how's your week been, man? It's been good, man. Just uh, did a little shooting for video on Friday. That's going to be A couple crazy. of locations, a couple of different things. Uh, they'll be coming out soon. Busy. Busy. Uh, thinking about trying to get my stuff into a gallery here. Right. Um, that would be fire. But busy, 
Yeah. Good, they, good busy. Yeah. Exactly. Good busy. Exactly. We, we, they, your shit can be purchased, right? They yeah, people yeah. just hit you, you up. You can definitely hit me up and purchase any of my prints. Any of, I do paintings and stuff, too. I haven't really thrown them out there much yet, but keep an eye out. I'll start getting more out there. I've been to this man's house. He has some fire in the... There's a, that man cave a first Friday coming up. Ooh. We haven't even talked about that yet. We gotta fit, we're gonna try to get in there eventually. Fuck, dude. I mean, we gotta get all this extra fucking camping equipment just to go downtown. <laughs> just go downtown. Fuck. You need a tent. <laughs> you need a tent, power a generator, strips. power strips, <laughs> extension cords. Like we're just fucking bringing power to the party, ain't we? Like just tell us you're short on the light bill, <laughs> fellas. How does a week look like for Modest Raw, man? Tell tell the people out there, what do you guys do during the week, man? Man, we just work. We just work and make music. We got two jobs, you know what I'm saying? Yes, two jobs. Yeah, we're, we're dedicated artists out here. First of all, I'm sorry. Tell the people who you are. I we just skipped right into the bio <laughs> and shit. Name, bro. Um, this is Paul. I go by Marlon Roos on the on the solo project uh, from Modest Raw. I'm got Dancing it. Stone. It's Bryce. I'm Jesse. I go by Captain Oasis as a multimedia platform. It comes together, dude. Form Life Ultron. <laughs> Form All right. Ultron. I wanted to stir the pot here a little bit since <laughs> this is the second go around. Who's the best artist here? Oh, shit. <laughs> Man, I don't want to. Who is it? I'm not going to say. Well, you, it depends you on what you say. Yeah. You can't do that. I'm doing it, bro. You can't do that. Because I want to I wanna see what you really think about each other. In their mind, they're all, in, they're all the best. I okay, I know you know what, what? I don't want to answer it for. And you guys are like brothers, so it won't it won't affect you. We, <laughs> so it won't affect allegedly, you. So I, I, I and the band say, breaks up. I just want to say that we're all great artists. I don't think there's like necessarily like a great like one specific great one of us. I guess I'm I saying think it's the collection of us. Point out who does what best. Like, what do you do? best what okay. do you do best and so on and so forth i'm not asking cool. you guys to tear each other's throats out <laughs> <laughs> we don't like to tear each other's throats out paul That's here we've been there <laughs> yeah we've done this too many times man when you work with somebody making music for a couple years you find you out flash. you know what I'm yeah saying? yeah you for real. it happens you'd be like little girls be like you heard my feelings about that shit man like for real <laughs> you know so i'm, nah, I'm the mc i do the writing and you know i i bring up concepts and things like okay. that. Not to say these guys don't do that as well. Um, my response to your question would be, we're all uniquely great in our own ways. That's a great Incredibly answer. Incredibly That's the answer I was yeah. looking for. <laughs> no, you exactly. weren't, motherfucker. No, you serious, no seriously. I'm going to stir the No, pot. seriously. <laughs> I'm gonna stir. <laughs> Who's you, the best? If you guys are, are grouping <laughs> one at last, I mean, yeah. you have to think that way, right? Yeah. You yeah, can't, no. you can't <laughs> have those, those doubts like, you know what? Fuck that guy. He can do this better than me, or he can do that. So For on sure, and so yeah. forth. You say I do my shit to the highest level possible, and so do so do they. And we're straight. You know what I mean? Yeah. So For I mean, sure. just testing you. Just testing. <laughs> testing, <laughs> testing, <laughs> your, testing your character. <laughs> testing, your character. <laughs> testing your character. That's good, That's man. Good. That's That's good. Life. We gotta know. Yeah, I'm like a I'm a guitar player in my nature and producer. You know, so this is Paul speaking here. I do I do that. That's primary my thing. I, I put some. I was producing our tracks for the most part, getting started, but at this point, we're all, you know, trying to all get our hands on it at this point. You know what I mean? It's a little different when you got one guy running it. it right. Becomes, you know, a little, little linear. You know what I'm saying? So just open up the possibilities for everybody, because, because I produce and he produces. You know what I mean? So we like to, we like to put it. What all programs together. you guys use? Evo Studio. Mm. What? I Ableton. Use Reason. Reason. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I use Ableton. Yeah. Do they, those like mesh? Are those, are, nah, do they, they don't mesh nah. at all. I was gonna say, <laughs> was gonna say they, it doesn't sound like they mesh. They don't mesh at all, but you know we're making it work. You know, yeah. especially in the in the new. You know, we're trying to get to a different level of uh, music right now right. together. You know what I'm saying? Really, really become more musical, sitting down writing and playing more rather than um, than producing. You know what I'm saying? Sitting, I sitting agree. At computers. I agree. I don't think music raw sound, man. Yeah, music trying don't come from computers. Raw. It's kind of like what I always talk about when we go to performances and stuff like that. When and I, I've probably talked about this like every podcast, when or whenever out when the artist raps over the track or whatever, so yep. on and so forth. It's unauthentic, but like you said, when you guys are playing, just letting whatever the vibe go, straight fire just because like, it's yeah, authentic man, from your core. Exactly. Yeah. 
Even if you mess up, people ain't even gonna know. You know what I'm That's saying? true. Time, Shit, I had that really happen like a couple weeks, two weeks, ago. weeks ago. Yeah, still blew that bitch out, bro. Forgot <laughs> <that>. <laughs> <laughs> still blew that bitch out. I forgot the words. Know. I'm like, nobody knows you missed that note. Yeah, <laughs> it's a new fucking song anyway. Nobody really right. You know right. what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. It looks more raw when you mess up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Except for this past Friday, I can't lie. It was, it was some weird mess ups in that monarch. Not from you. Oh, I was like, oh, not from you. Yeah. I was like, what I the mean, we could we could call you out about the semi. <laughs> I mean, <that's> not, <laughs> you want to go ahead, bro? Kyle was like, I don't get embarrassed, bro. <laughs> it's not about embarrassment, bro. Chill. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> who are you gonna see at the monarch, bro? Monarch was this Friday. Was uh, it was all right. It's always interesting when you go in there because they always have different artists there, yeah. and it's cool just to see what everybody makes, what it, how everybody thinks, you know, like how. Like when I when I look at somebody perform, I think like, how do they make this song? Like, where did they get from the beat to the lyrics to the melodies and so on and so huh. so forth? So I'm like tearing it apart. On it, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because that's how I with my my music. You know, everything that I make, the ad libs, whatever, the sounds, auto tune, wherever it goes, it's there for a reason. It's there yeah. for for a reason. Mm-hmm. To me, when I go to a show like that, like. As a non-musical artist, yeah, I I understand that that's a ten-minute spot that somebody yeah. if they don't do a ten-minute spot like that, how are they ever gonna get better than that? Yeah. So like I get it, and I I try to do my best to be there and support it when you know no matter what level they're at because they got to do that to get to the next yeah. level or realize, hey man, maybe I can't get to the next level. And maybe I can do this as a hobby, but maybe it's not really performing for me. Like I said, if I, I, I know you I'm gotta trash. You got to something about yourself doing it. <laughs> yeah. I'm I know I'm trash. Up. I'm just going to stop. I'm just going <laughs> to cut it out. <laughs> cut it. Cut it. Yo, they don't know that, though. They don't know they're trash. And you, you find, can't. with music, you find out, bro. I'm There's a, There comes good. a certain point in time where people, they just give you a certain vibe. That's just not it. And you know. You know, you yeah. know right? I mean, but that takes time for everyone. Yeah, I think it's a good opportunity because being an artist for you, you get a little experience of like what it could be when you do a show and what you could expect as far as like outcome, uh, crowd response. Oh, yeah, for uh, sure. It's the equipment good. and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Which there is no nothing wrong with. Bro, I love that stage. That's yeah. the stage that I performed it's very at roomy. the hip hip hop. Hip hop festival. I like the lights. It has the icon in the back background going. I mean, you don't tell me to put up hippie upstairs? Upstairs, 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 upstairs. It's Scarlet. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you guys got to slide down, man. We, we played there. You guys got to. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know if we you would have to talk to them to get in the show, but we definitely yeah. got oh. tickets to come and chill. It's You're more than weekend. welcome to come. I'll just put yeah. you on the guest list. You know, yeah, we yeah. straight. You get fucking talking, yeah. get high and vibe out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. That'll that'll be fun. They don't go down high. again. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> we for Joyner, Medicaid. Right? What we'll Medicaid? Yeah. We played on the Joiner, the Joiner show they had. No, we played Daisy. Oh, Bob dope. Festival. We played one other one of them before. That was our first show we played together. It was at the Monarch, you know, so. At the so. festival? No, nah, it was. We it was played, about a year ago. About now. a year ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you guys been wow. together for about a little over a year now? Oh, like two years. Two, two years. years. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. When you're playing, when you're trying to create from the from the ground, yeah, you know, that shit takes, takes a, time. Takes time. Yeah. It takes time and dedication. You know. I'm yeah. telling these. That's what I'm telling these fools. Like, bro, it's like we're working so much. I feel like we we've been doing this for ever. Ever. Yeah. yeah. It's like, jeez, because like you're putting in so much hours. It's like. There's never a break, you know, because when you're sleep, yeah. it's like you're dreaming about the shit. So you wake right up, and it's like, oh, I got to do this right now. I because I thinking about shit this morning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every day, bro. And yeah. I'm just like, man, can I just, like, watch some TV or something and just like, bro, I would have no, no, no. loved no to Netflix. just fucking, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, Netflix and chill. No chilling. No you try to do that before bed and be like, nah, I got to go to sleep. I got to wake up in the morning. You know what I mean? Can't it? Always be, working. You think I'll be tweaking? I can't go to sleep sometimes. I'll be up there tripping. Like, <laughs> what are we doing tomorrow? What's next? What's this? What's that? But, you know, I think that's just the creative side of me now that I'm like sober. You know what I'm saying? Like, those ideas are coming instead of being blocked off. So it's dope, man. Like a new world, bro. Yeah. yeah, a whole new world, bro. It's like, it's fun. And then sometimes it's like, all right, I'm tired of it. But, you know what I'm saying? Then I just find something like pick me back up. You know what I'm saying? I never 
I've never got found myself straying away yet, which I'm thankful for. Because I, you know, when we go out, I always got the fellas with me, so that's I'm grateful for them. But what do you guys got coming up, man? What are you guys working on? We're working on some fire right now <laughs> from the earth. <laughs> it's been, you know what it is, bro. This winter time, this winter time has been like uh, self development time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We got to grow For individually sure. to grow as artists. Mm-hmm. Uh, grow, you know, so independently seeds in the garden and together. You know what I'm saying? It's like we, we, you could sit in the studio all day trying to make music, and you might not get nothing. But if you take some time, you know what I mean, and really collect yourself. We all get together. Everybody got an idea. You know what I'm right. saying? That's awesome. Comes, right. comes together. Really does so. Well, yeah, let's man. do it then. Before we 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 messed everything up. <laughs> we were about to get to the song. So now let's get to the song. Yeah, we got a we got a little uh little something we've been working on. It's it's kind of you know it's getting rolling right now. But we just threw this together probably like a week ago maybe. A and, week ago. And started it's working fresh. on it. Started working on it maybe like two days ago to actually through started, a demo together through a demo we, like just getting it rolling we decided you know? that we want to go to a studio and record our music to kind of get out of home base you know yeah. and, and I mean I don't know different different music. Yeah, focus yep. on the music I don't know if you guys saw their room but I don't know if it's roomy enough for all three of you guys to be honest yeah we know a open. couple of studios we're trying to get one we could put a drum kit in I know we probably try, oh yeah I was going to say we could probably talk to Podson or Pyramix. Yeah. Oh, Pyramix looks dope. <laughs> that's where yeah. I wanted to go. I was that's that's where it's at. And I think they have pretty good deals, too, most of the time. I just never got the guts to drive up there. so Just never got the guts to look too high quality. <laughs> I was just like, trying well, to link them with some some folks we know. you know, Get them the low level. trying to plug it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's where some artists fuck up because they, like, they spend all their money wanting to record at this studio, and then you put out a... Not saying you're going to put out a mediocre track. No, no. But or, the mix and master is important, right? Yeah, for so. sure, dude. And doing it yourself would take forever, you know? You're learning it. Oh, oh, believe me, I know, bro. I know, I, I, I bet. know. <laughs> I definitely Yeah, this guy does every that. fucking song at his house. That's do you? Crazy. I do, man. I record. And for anyone who listens to Jones' songs, so you know, the nigga like records them in his fucking closet. Not in the closet. It's just, it's just in a room. The, 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 closet. the closet studio uh, thing is like a myth. It's like a myth. I was tight, man. I was hyping it up. But the fella's going to jam out, man. I'm, I'm excited for it. It's all Dude. yours, boys. This one's called Genuine. Is it truly what it says it is? It's classic, but it's relevant. They buy it when we selling it. That's cause we make it genuine. Well, all right, I'm trying to write them like I used to. Bring that old school to the new school. Show that next generation how we do. Keep it real, keep it fresh, and just make it you. Yo. The real thing, the old school that teaches the new school I'm tapped into what is really making this groove move Underline everything, underworld, overworld Hope it wasn't over your head like a halo Cause I've been shining light connected to a dark rainbow It's all happening real close, so tell me what you say So I can separate the cold from the fuegos Who going O for O and who about to take O And blow like volcanoes, I know, I know Cause those my amigos, we rap like I make it like a free throw, easy, I'm genuine I like to take this time to think the people out there hating like some children cause we just keep on winning and inspiring the millions the masses from classes to status floating like i'm cassius stinging like the heartbreak from a bad girl too genuine to say that other bad word you don't get the hook yet wow, hey. bro. gotta that leave you insane. hanging cliffhanger what? that was Jesus. amazing bro that was amazing man sure was. how long did so uh, how long did it take you guys to come up with that um, let's see, man. I had that riff, and I just know I wrote the riff, and then he showed up and was like, yeah, I've been writing this song called Genuine, and I was like, oh, I got this riff, and I was playing the riff, and he <laughs> spit it, and then that's how, that's what you heard today. That shit was smooth, bro. I would, that's, man. Just pick Perfect, one bro. word. Bro. Just pick one word. When's that coming out? I'm just oh, random. man, it's gonna be, it's, 
it's gonna be special when you hear it. So you guys putting an album out? We're yeah, we're gonna put a whole album out. That's we're gonna do uh, we're gonna have a couple a couple projects between all of us. We got yeah, we were on a couple different trains and there's there's a whole album sitting there of like produced tracks that we put we put together with other people and ourselves. Like I always man, good to have just dope. music. Stacked. I might have yeah. music it's everywhere. Just a, it's a I might have best. to come up north and just c- fucking come to one of your guys' little chilling sessions, bro. Like <laughs> through, oh, yeah, started. we got the studio hooked up. At the oh, you got the stew. We got the home studio. The home studio is tight. Uh, we got lighting, bro. We got everything. What? The lighting. The lighting. We got light. Yeah, neon lights. All Hippie there. life out in Sedona. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Bro, like I'm already vibed. I'm feeling it right now. Like I'm <laughs> ready to go home and pack my fucking bags and like, honey, <laughs> we're out. Sedona. The kids. <laughs> pack the kids or leave them. I don't care. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> We're, nah, we wouldn't leave them. Anyone, <laughs> don't y'all dare. I, I think we know that. <laughs> no, I, but you we know, it, you know people out there. Yeah. He said he's oh leaving. He said he's gonna leave his kids. Uh, <laughs> we'll take them. Uh, we'll take. Em. No, you uh, shit. I promise you. You take my son. You bring his ass right back. We're done with this one. You can have him. <laughs> like that's it. He don't even explain nothing. Just you could have him. Like bro, he is mine. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't know you had a kid, bro. Oh, I got two. You got two kids? Yeah, I got a boy oh, and a girl. Man. Stop. That's it. No more. That's it. No more. You gonna start getting daddy talking here, right? You know what I'm saying no more. You be like, I'm a proud, I'm a proud dad. <laughs> oh, I am, dude. Oh, my all son, the time, bro. Yeah. My son, believe it or not, bro, is he is an immaculate drawer for a four-year-old i'm just like damn dude like <laughs> he'll like like it's shit he sees and then he's like draws it whatever it looks like in his mind and it, it looks like what it's supposed to be but it's his own version and his his grandmother uh she's an artist she's actually the one who's drawn every single one of our designs so she's like let's do a fucking a drawing date and i'm like yes I'd love that. My son would love that. She has all these professional tools set up at her house. Huh. And she has a home studio, so he would lose his shit in there, all these markers and shit. So, yeah, it's <laughs> dope, man. My daughter's one. She just started walking, so, yay. <laughs> hey, she gets sorry. in the shit. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Going through that again. Yeah. Here we go. Damn it, I was done with that, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, man, kids are awesome, bro. I My only advice is if you have them, if you want to have them, make sh- make make sure you do the shit you want to do, basically, because it's not like you can't do what you want to do. You just always have to make sure the kids are straight, you know. Right. Or do I have a babysitter to do this? Like for sure. If you don't want to worry about that shit, wait till further down the line. Or if you're just that nigga who doesn't mind taking your kids and they screaming at fucking breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Throwing shit across the table. Don't do that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't like those people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, sorry, bro. I'm sorry, but I might be that. I you know, I try my hardest, but the kids the kids will be kids, bro. There's nothing you can do. There's no um, fucking amount of tablet time you can give them at the dinner table. <laughs> them niggas <laughs> want to go. And I'm like, damn. Or play with every single sugar packet in the fucking thing. You got to put it all back. It's a mess, bro. It's worse than having a dog. I do want to. Oh, um, because <laughs> all you got to do is clean up shit. Let the door open. Put food in a bowl. Put water in a bowl. Play with your dog. With a kid, you're fully (laughs) engaged. There's no turning your back on this child because there is something that that child can get into, no matter how safe you make your house. You're scaring a lot of people away from having kids. I'm just (laughs) opening y'all's eyes because... No, it's real shit. It's real shit, though, because that's how it is. There's a lot of people (laughs) having... Look, you see too much shit where people leaving their kids in the car because they need to go shopping or they leave their kids at home because they forgot or they leave their kids at home because they want to go to the club. Like, if you're that kind of person... Wrap your shit up or just, don't yes. ha- you know, don't have kids. Like, I'm not with the abortion shit, so just do it responsibly. On a, a lighter note, I do want to do more shows. <laughs> I had to go ham because. Uh, like the toy drive up. and what we did so I can bring my son out, you know. Oh, that really, artistic. I, I want to do dope. more of that because my son goes freaking bananas at Damn. stuff. Stuff at like like that. He like loves music. He's a mask. He's like he the loves mascot. music. That's dope. That's he cool. gets out and turns up, bro. Like he's, he still has a microphone, bro. like pretend microphone, and he'll put on a fucking show. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like father, like son. Uh, <laughs> for, yeah. sure. No, no, for sure. For no, sure. He'll no. like, for sure. No no shame, no fear. Like, you know how a kid would be shy? He's like, 
uh, giving you a full, lip singing the words and everything. I'm like, <laughs> oh, yes. He's dope. He's dope. He's a sure. joy to be around, man. A little writer. But, man, is there anything else you guys want to fucking... Say you said don't start, and here we are talking about kids right now. What I like about <laughs> kids, though, is they can grow to beyond... You know, be yeah, no, anything no, beyond no, no, anything which look, you can imagine. Yeah, see, you know, I, anything and you that's can a big, imagine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's and that's what I preach like to my son, like me doing music and like driving lift or whatever, doing what I want to do, like show him like, hey man, if, if you want to do something, you got you gotta do it, you know. Yeah. Do what you do what you love and don't yeah. have any regrets. Yeah. You know I'm, I'm not yeah. saying having kids is bad. It's not bad. You have, you have. You just said just, it, there's a time for it. Yes. There's a time for it. You have to be and prepared have to, to the, sacrifice so much of like every jobs. Like put it this way, if I wanted to up and move out of state and go work at a resort, like I gotta make sure my kids are straight. You know what I'm saying? Like and my my old lady, she has a job, so like, you know what I'm saying? It's when you a put a family together, you it's gotta make sure level. it's not just like, oh yeah, man, I'm gonna take that pay. Yeah, it's, it's this amount of money. Okay, now where's your wife going to work? Where's your kids going to go to school? How are you going to get them to and from school? How are you going to move all your shit out of state? Oh, you know right, right. There's layers. Yeah, it's, yeah. Just a, it's just a lot more work. It's yeah. a lot more. You make a lot of more obstacles for yourself. But, I mean, it's still amazing, though. Regardless. regardless it is. Bro, even with a lot a, of amazing he, moments, like proud fucking person moments like especially me i was a piece of shit so like when i see my son doing dope things i'm like <sighs> or or hear somebody say hey he looks just like you like that's you that's you right there it's just a warm and feeling man but um you guys got time, anything though. else you At, on play? your time <laughs> yeah for sure but i'm hyped on this music do you guys want to do something else? I, do you guys have something? Do you guys else have like the something top on of Spotify the dome? we can play through the through the headphones? No, I want it live. I want it here. Live only? I want it live. I want okay, it. Okay. Is that possible? Do, do you have get something? We can we do we something we live? Something. something. I, I know. Ah. What do you want to do? I mean, we don't. Yo, this is the thing, bro. I got an acoustic guitar on my hands. I'm not typically this kind of guitar player, so I'm a little. You know what I'm, I'm a little cut off up here. It's okay. It's a little. I'm a, I'm a wild guitar player. Let me tell y'all. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> I'm a little wild. Play something for the people. Yo. Play something for what? What? We Hold up. It. He got it. You got something. <laughs> he got it. There's some I was songs. Gonna say elephant, right? I play the elephant. Is all right. I'm, I'll do the elephant. You want to do the elephant? Me. Y'all play that. Oh, yeah. yes. Here we go. Y'all play that. that. This is in your face right now. I gotta right walk now. out. I gotta go give a cheesecake. I feel like we give another sell outside. Oh, dude? Yeah. Uh, you know, he's getting I a cheesecake. We can't that. play the elephant. He's getting a cheesecake. Always oh, hustling. No, it's, it's for a, a customer's outside. What happened was we were supposed to be done by now, but we done uh -huh. not recorded the whole <laughs> show. So, <laughs> <y> now. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you want to do? The elephant, elephants speaking directly to the people right now. You know what I'm saying? All right, yeah, they need to hear it. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, man, it's gonna sound a little different on here, but it's all right. I know we ain't done this on here. Mm. Right, elephant it's called the, ele the elephant yeah. unplugged. It's gonna be fucking <laughs> dope. I already know. I'm back. Colin made the delivery. This is modest Shout unplug right now. Oh, shit. So, guys, and if we put anything out and it says modest in front of it, you're gonna know it's us. We doing everything modest, modest Rasta, modest pasta, what modest you know? entertainment, modest, modest uh -huh. Earth Day, modest everything, <laughs> trademark, dude. bitch. Up. All right, let's do the Elefante. Pretty let's do like that. One, two. Time ticking, mind itching to find something that's all an illusion. Really, you ain't gonna find nothing. I've been dropping jewels wide open. Devil want me to sell my soul, but I've signed nothing. It's tempting, but I'm not looking out of sight, out of mind. Turn your head away, they dropping atom bombs in the Garden of Eden. Farther they reach, they're starving they people. World police for poverty in our streets, too. Still, for real, these politics make my body sick. Corporations running our government. It's writing checks the media presents what they're told to to mold you to keep you on the fence and control you it's a game and you lose when you play to consume i'm just pointing at the elephant that's right in the room right in my phone listening while i'm writing these poems this is america and the rest of the globe if 
you like it or not Under the gun, under the thumb Under the all-seeing eye that's under the sun I'm about to make a run, the riders are riding You hear the thunder, the storm's coming, bringing enlightenment Hey! Live for more than just surviving to a day when entertainment takes society away But tell me, baby, are you entertained? Live for more than just surviving to a day when entertainment takes society away Tell me, are you entertained? Live for more than just surviving to a day when entertainment takes society away But tell me, are you entertained? Live for more than just surviving Hey, live for more than just surviving But are you entertained? Jesus criminy. That's a new that one too. Dope. That was <laughs> That's really dope. I can't even find a fucking word for it. It was modest. It was, it was raw. Modest. That's a raw one. I mean, he said it he yeah, said if you hear it was modest. He said if you hear anything we do or but I don't know. I couldn't find a word for it. That's the only way. <laughs> Alright, that was the I raw like that. part. That was so, the raw that's the raw part. Yeah. That's okay. That was raw. I looked on Spotify. You guys got like three tracks on there right now? Yeah. Yeah. All right. When can we get more? Yeah. Yeah, we're taking it real. You know, I you think, I think there's going to be. Cloud. Honestly, what? I think there's going to be more. Other joints. You're <laughs> probably going to get something else in the middle. Because we want to make a really dope album. We want to take this real serious right now. You know what I'm saying? We're not really playing games. So. This, this, we're gonna have to get a studio and a drummer, and like, when I, we're writing all the drums, writing all the bass, we're gonna get some session musicians to come in and play that shit, you know? So, yeah. get some money together and throw that together. We gotta write it. But until then, there's probably like, I've been thinking we need to put out another project. We got middle, a whole you know? collection of songs Dude, yo, and beats and stuff, EP. you know? Yeah, yeah. dope, dope. There's well, a if lot. you have music, Ooh. put it out, bro. Put nah, that shit out. For real. <laughs> I've been doing this thing every Sunday. It's called Sunday 16s. I'm going to release one when I leave here. I'm up to episode eight now. Nice. I'm going to do 16 of them. Dropping 16 Sunday 16s, 16 bar verses every Sunday. Hey, okay. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Bro. So, so that, that, that's like a... That on YouTube? Yeah, that's that's like an outlet, you know, kind of for for s- projects, old stuff that like we didn't, you know, capitalize on releasing for whatever reason. We we're I think about you it. should fucking yeah. Guys gotta get release. that shit out, bro. No, for real, yeah, that exactly. is fire. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? So, do you guys? How often do you guys perform live now? You know what, man? I think the goal this year was to do very little of that. And okay. Do, Yo, this is playing like playing that riff. I mean, that those don't come out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Right. Those lyrics don't come out of nowhere. So we gotta take that time, especially when work. you gotta record it and get the guitar tones, get the drum tones, I get the you. bass tones, like get it tight. You know, so we're really we're really locking in right now. Really Only thing we in. got on the schedule for this year is what? Would you say, Jesse? The Arizona, Arizona? the Arizona Music Festival. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Where's it's that being in, held? It's in July. I think it's it's somewhere here in Phoenix. I. They were originally gonna do it like up in Williams, like up north, okay. like, kind of just outside of Flagstaff. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I just heard they moved it down here in Phoenix, but I'm not sure of the exact location yet. But yeah, well, I think like that a, uh, like a festival. once you guys start get going and start trying to like perform and get all that stuff together, yeah. you're gonna have some people waiting for you, man. That was really do- that was really dope. Thank you. And just to know that you guys' stuff isn't out, you don't have much music. I think you're yeah. you're gonna just build a fan base off of anticipation, man, because that was really great. That was that was really really great. It's been really it's been we've had a really good, um, but you know this takes time developing a sound, you know, especially when we Believe come me. from reggae, hip hop, and metal backgrounds. It's a real strange thing to put together, you know. But lean across the table, you start figuring it out, you know. All right. But yeah, no, you're right, man. But if you're going to listen to one on Spotify, I recommend listening to The Dawn. I feel like that's... I'm about to listen one. to every single one that's on Spotify on the way home. Okay. Fuck that. That's tight. That's real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure. It's also good all. because people Dude, play your, that... your shit over and over and over and over and over. You only have three songs. So, I mean, you can never get tired of playing three songs in, rota- in rotation if they're dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I could do that. For that infinity. It. Infinity, yeah. right? So, perfect. <laughs> do your thing. For real. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. I personally That's on like Spotify, satisfied. that song? The Dawn is on Spotify. What about That's Elephant? The, ele- the Elephant <laughs> is not. The Elephant <laughs> was written about two weeks back. So okay, the Elephant so is fresh. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It's fresh. That's why I said I need to Y'all are... Bravo, fellas. 
Bravo. I'm trying to be prolific out here, you know. Definitely. You're doing. Definitely. You're definitely doing it. You know? You're definitely yeah. doing the right thing. I really appreciate yeah. having People you guys here. People are sleeping on themselves, man. I mean, the song was great, but the efficiency that you did that at uh, on recording was that was the best part for for me <laughs> pers- for me personally, bro. That was dope. Bro, I just dope like how like at first, at first I thought he was he fucked up because it was like, and then I was like like. And then all of a sudden, he was just car, like, wow, 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 wow. And I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. Here we go. And then he came out with the bars, and I was like, oh, shit. And you got him dropping the effects in the back. I was like, yeah, I see where this is going. I see it. You guys you guys are on to some real shit, man. If you heard the demo, you'd really know. The demo is dope right now. Yeah, we got Just the master the on the keys over here. This guy is you know killing it saying? on the keys, bro. I'm telling you, That's fellas, we going that's up north. Right there. <laughs> well, make we sure when you north. are about to drop something, you hit us up, <laughs> so we can get that. We can get that here first, <laughs> for, sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Bring We're that ass get back. That. No, we'll come back and we'll, yeah. do some, we'll do some tracks. We'll have you back. We'll find a bigger. No, we're gonna do a live, something fucking big. Get you some like at first Friday type shit. That shit, that's where that needs to be heard, bro. That's that shit. At Jesus. First Friday, first Friday, what's that? Oh, my God. Every fr- every first Friday of the month, downtown Phoenix does like oh, You a, don't know about a, this? Does like a big like, They're not uh, from here. art walk festival type deal. They oh, have really? like all the You know how Tlacopaki has like all that shit. And shit. Yeah. And they do like yeah. different venues have like the live shows. And oh, tight. there's like. Open mics and shit. There's like open mics. Drugs. People like I've literally seen people just like performing on the street, mm-hmm. just like Tight. they set up shop. Yes, yeah, dope. So at that know. time, though, I mean, I mean, if we're talking about a couple months when you guys might be ready. A few months. Yeah, we want to get we it sh- once we look, once we get it all together. You know what I mean? Once we have it all together and get get some guys playing some uh, playing the drums or whatever. You know, we're, we're trying to really figure out the whole the whole platform right now. Right? Okay. I know I'm some guys that are really up. good. You know um, some good drummers out here? Yeah. And guitar player. I mean not that you would need one. They have a whole band, but specifically I like these guys. I haven't yeah. heard the band. But he's always trying to get his band to like when I was used to drink, he'd be like, Yeah man, you can let us perform at some of your parties. I don't have parties, dude. <laughs> I don't have parties. <laughs> I go to the I go to the bar, man. I am the party. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, he's like Everybody that I talk to say that he's really good. I haven't heard, like, heard, heard, heard. I've seen his performances on Instagram. But he's smooth, bro. Like, he's dedicated to that shit. Let's make oh, it yeah, happen, network, dude. Let's make it happen. Yeah, yeah I'll we definitely hit him up after basis. this. Drum yeah. Yeah. Basis. yeah. Well, Craig that was all. If that's not the whole shit that, I mean, you guys need to make music... I can't even imagine what it's gonna be like when you get the drum or get the get the <laughs> fucking basses. Yeah, it's man. gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, dude. It's gonna be really crazy. Yeah, We're trying to create it. an experience, man. You just <laughs> did. Like I just had one. I was like, what the fuck, bro? I was. But enough. Of I that, thought right, it was bro. gonna just like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what the? Gonna hear some fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what. To, I didn't uh, know what to expect. No, I bro. I got. Some chords, yeah. No, we we get in it, dude. That was crazy. Anyway, we got something know. a little more light, a little more light for the mood since we're all lit right now. <laughs> Except for Polly, Polly's on smooth control. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, ten quick rapid fire questions, man, to see how high you guys really are, see where your minds are. So the first oh, one sorry. is, what weapon would you want for a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> I want a samurai sword. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Samurai sword for sure. You <laughs> gotta you, you gotta fill up on ammo with that. See what I'm saying? No noise. <laughs> Jones was talking about a fucking bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> when did I say a bazooka? Or, I don't even know. Dude, one time you, I swear to God, we asked somebody this one time and you were like you guys, why would anyone get the rocket launcher or some shit? And I'm like, bro, it's f- it'll blow <laughs> like it's loud or some shit. Wasn't that Gemini Kai you had on? I, S- list, I listened see? to that. See, I said I the know. future. I said, why doesn't anybody no, go to the future? Because no. I didn't anyway. say 
That's Whatever. No damn so, bazooka. I think you said. I just listened to this like last week. I'm pretty sure you said I want like a rocket launcher. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you said unlimited ammo is what I. Heard. Oh, oh you did. Like unlimited ammo. I was like, where Busted. are you gonna find all that unlimited <laughs> ammo? <laughs> I, I, I guess I did say it. I was high as boy. I can barely remember yesterday. So I mean, so <laughs> there's that. Yeah. I said it then, <laughs> fellas. Well, fuck yeah, give me that rocket launcher then. Let's go. <laughs> fuck that. I'll follow have through with that. that. Have y'all seen that new movie, Alita: Battle Angel? No. no. Is it dope? There's it's fucking it's dope as shit. But there's this you you've seen it right? There's yeah. this this weapon where like this guy shoots out these these uh, blades out of his fingers and then rips people apart with it. Oh like shit! A scorpion claw. But with tight. Like I'd, have, I'd have that. Shit. Then you just put no, no limits on these weapons right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's a zombie apocalypse. You're trying to be stealthy. That's... Ripping niggas shit um, off. I, just, them up. I don't know. I'd say a baseball bat. Oh, yeah. you blunt. He that. You're trying to get up close and personal, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you got some anger to get out. Started <laughs> this motherfucking apocalypse, <laughs> and now it's just me and these niggas, and no bitches, and no weed. <laughs> He's oh, mad. that's that fucking dog from the uh, neighbor's house. Oh, oh there we go. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> you're a zombie now. I can, I can, I can kill, kill you. <laughs> Bet. All right, fellas. So uh, this one is music related. Uh, when it comes to music of any kind, uh, do you prefer music from the East Coast or West Coast? Do you have artists that you favor from mm. those areas. Oh, that's a hip-hop question. East Coast or West Coast? Well, there could... There, West Coast. I'm saying, like, I, I like to keep Chicago, it open. What about Chicago, though? Yeah, I'm going to say he's going to say. He's gonna say. <laughs> what about, like, Saba yeah. and, and, you know, like, those artists from up, up in Chicago? They type, but I don't know. It's going to leave them out? You gotta, you can't. Why does it have to be, like, strictly hip-hop, though? Fine, it doesn't. Because is Whatever there other want. genres out? Like, is there... I mean, that's I know that's all we hear about when it comes to, like, that question. Is there... I'm East trying to West think Coast about, like... Music? Like, I don't think any other genre anymore. really has that kind so of like, divide. I, I'll you say know, one thing: yeah. like you can look at like like I get, jam music. Like for instance, Northeast yeah. is like Fish, Southeast <laughs> is like fucking widespread Panic. Uh, I don't. What really, about country? You know, does it defer? Really Are there some shit, West man. Coast country singers and some East Coast country singers? The, <laughs> or do they no, all the, live down south? Because <laughs> country's more of a like a rock, pop, hip hop hybrid now. Yeah, it's more. It's not what it used to be so there's and i think only hip-hop has that kind of thing anyway or they're separate. Interpret the question fuck it then hip-hop east coast or west coast fuck it <laughs> east or west, west to the coast, mississippi man. if we talking hip-hop west, west coast, coast west all side. day bro i'm from north carolina originally so i grew up with biggie and nas so i'd say east coast if we're, if we're gonna divide it like that but i fuck with Pac, you know like i I don't discriminate. Yeah, no okay. discrimination, but West Coast. You know? There you okay. go. <laughs> okay. East Coast, West Coast. What about yeah. you, my guy? West Coast. West okay. Coast? Yeah. Dope. Yeah. All right. I know you guys are going to love this one. Do you believe in aliens? <laughs> oh, man. Yes. I know living up there. Yeah. Have you seen some shit? Yo, I'm on this alien kick. I'm looking for those motherfuckers oh, every day, dude. I know they're dreams, up there. Bro. Yo, we got, yo, know, we get into it with these aliens right now. This man, he's, yeah, he's, he's turning wheels for me. Talk about. You tell, tell, tell oh, them. Oh, you shit. can't. Come tell on. Them. Here we go. Conspiracy. Here we go. You don't have to tell them the conspiracy. You afraid that you can? No, let's nah, do it, dude. Nah, let's nah, hear I'm it. Not, I'm not afraid. Tell them about it. I'm, I'm ready, bro. <laughs> so, I work in Sedona. Um, so there's there's all this controversy all the time about like, oh, you can't go a certain way past Boynton Canyon. Um, so I, I've always been curious, you know, like why can't you? You know, they they say that like people stop you, like somebody like stops you in a military uniform back there and is like, Hey, like, turn around, you know, like go the other way. So I've just been like thinking, you know, it's like the the elevation change from Sedona to Flagstaff is like three, four thousand feet. Yeah. There's like a lot of a lot of land there where there could be just like a huge cave or something right. in the side of like the Colorado plateau. So like it could be something crazy out there, you know what I mean? They, that they're trying that they <laughs> wh whoever they are are <coughs> trying to hide there's a lot that they say that Sedona is full of UFOs I ain't seen one yet you know? that's what I'm saying there's I always a lot of people spot. I mean, why though the yeah. stars. that's there's their parking that. garage I ain't gonna lie though <laughs> When I be out there smoking at nighttime in the like in the woods, I be getting sketched the fuck out. Like 
I'm gonna hear some some footsteps like, hey, hey. and all of a sudden like just this fucking little alien or some crazy shit, and I'm just oh, gone. I, I'm just be high. Damn. Bro. Yeah, I just be high. See, that's why I don't go to the woods, bro, because I don't even have to think about that kind yeah. of bullshit, bro. <laughs> well, I mean. That's where the resort's at. You yeah, ain't got no choice. <laughs> Put me on the street, nigga. <laughs> nah, but it's smooth. I love Sedona for real. I can't lie. It's beautiful out there. It is. Yeah, man. All right, fellas. Um, what's the most memorable dance move from your childhood? Probably the Dougie. Oh, that's a new one. Yeah, okay. I feel so that. <laughs> hey, easy, easy, that's yeah. how I got my hey, wife. Oh, oh, no yes. she'll, she'll tell that story every time. Oh, oh, I got yes. it here. Victory, Next time I'm pulling up, I'm going to be like, tell me about Kyle's Tell Dougie. me about the Dougie. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a story for you? <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. What about you, fellas? You got one? The heel toe or the or the moonwalk? Ooh, the heel oh, toe. Okay, I remember the heel toe. toe. That one. I can heel. Well, maybe I'll try that. Can your this. can your Achilles handle it? Can you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Maybe. This gonna snap. <laughs> no, it won't snap. It won't snap. What about you, man? Went to this big after school like daycare type of thing when I was young, right? And there were these girls there in like fifth grade. So it must have been like 10, 11, and there were like a pack of them, dude. And I just remember them doing that damn in sync dance with the hands, bro. Oh, the bye bye bye. They did okay. that every day, bro. I saw it all the time. So it's like ingrained it in my. my like Two of my friends know that dance like by, by heart, heart. They and guys? they do it. <laughs> And they do it. Like, they go to <laughs> No, they go to places. He skipped the answer. You see that? He looked at me like, nigga, I'm not about to point him out. Are they guys? Oh, yeah, they're guys. Ah! Is it Rob? Is it, it Rob? No, it's my friend Joe and Cody. There's uh, nothing wrong with them. Cody? They're, they're white. Rob's cousin Cody? They're white. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're <laughs> he white. looks like a fucking... And it's dope when they do it. Back they kill boy it. Ass boy. <laughs> they kill it, bro. They, <laughs> they kill it. It's dope. You like seeing that Sorry. shit, huh? It's dope to see my friends do shit like that. It's dope seeing anybody put their time right, into doing something. Right, right. It's creative, you know bro. I mean? It's creative. The whole thing? The whole Like, routine. the whole thing, bro. That's crazy. They the sing whole it like thing. Justin. I'll be impressed. No, nah, they can't sing. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> they can't <crazy>. sing. <laughs> I will say that. Uh, All right, fellas. All right, this thing is Favorite cool. video game console? Ooh, yes. PS4? Okay. Forever? Yes, of all time. Of all time? Of all of time. PS4. Oh, man, not, not the PS4. <laughs> nah, the Nintendo 64 was dope. That was a dope That's yeah, dope. Was. That was a tight console. Dope one. I would love that. I played a lot of fucking yeah. Goldeneye. I can't even lie. I never <laughs> owned one. Goldeneye. Me neither, bro. I've I just played it at other yeah, people's houses. <laughs> on the white kid's house. <laughs> yeah. You, I'll say we don't it. have a Nintendo, but I got a yeah, white I got a we, got Sega, <laughs> we got the Sega, though. <laughs> the, the Atari and shit. I like Sega. Yeah, Sega was real. Sega was dope. All the Segas. The Segas. Uh, Genesis. Sega Saturn. That, the, Dreamcast. Uh, the Dreamcast with that NFL on it? Yeah. That 2K on it? Oh, shit. You're a hater, dog. They did have that fake ass Nintendo 64 controller, though. I ain't gonna lie. So that's all your guys' answers? The 64? That's good, yeah. man. That's good. With I played a lot of PS2. PS2 has some memorable lot. ass games. Yeah. Yeah. NFL Street, that game was raw. Uh, <laughs> Ballers, Def Jam, Def Jam, all, Def all Def the Need for Speed. Shout out to my brother Nick. We used to play Need for Speed faithfully oh, and <laughs> try to react to fucking Fast and Furious scenes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Tony Hawk is legendary. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. One of the like best games of all time. Re bro. They redid like Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, but didn't redo fucking Tony Hawk. Like they gotta oh, do yeah, Tony Hawk, bro. Yeah. yeah, that was yeah. Shit, that needs dog. to be out like now. I just played Spyro. It was dope. Yeah, I got Crash Bandicoot, but I haven't. I haven't got Spyro. But yeah, they need to bring back Tony Hawk Pro Skater Two specifically. Classic. Or Underground, one. bro. Underground was sick because you got to get off your board and shit, but. Nah, that fucking the school level on on two or the hangar. That's Sheesh. it. Yo, I think they brought it back. I think they brought it back on PC. That's fuck PC. I don't, know, PC. Yeah. I don't fucking. I, I don't even own a PC. I need the controller, bro. I, need I don't even know what PC stands for, dude. E and F to kick flip. What the fuck that, bro? <laughs> e That's the bullshit. E and F. <laughs> Nah, they want you to build a fifteen hundred dollar PC to play that shit. Fuck that shit. Bro. Um, yeah, I've seen it. Now I will go to somebody's pawn shop and find a PS2 
and yeah. reboot right, that and bitch. Yeah, get it for real. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Plug in the the little red the yellow. Cheat, gotta get the cheat codes on that oh, bitch. Right? <laughs> now Spider Man and shit. That shit was tight. All right, fellas, let's get a little into the weed. What is your favorite strains? Of all time. Of all time. Hmm. I like a good OG. OG. Um, what is your... Do you have Skywalker a OG. There you go. Yeah. I like something diesel like Sour Diesel. Mm. You guys are already my guys. Diesel. You guys are my guys. <laughs> I've been on the Blue Dream edibles lately. Those uh, Jesus. Blue Dream, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like love Blue Dream, bro. Real Blue Dream is good. Yeah. Like... It's perfect. I've gotten blue dream at places that they say it was blue dream. Yeah, and it's well, garbage, blue ass. Like, real fucking blue dream is the shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should we say? Should we tell them about what's no, going bro, on? No, don't tell them. Don't keep say anything around, online. Bro. Oh, what's on going air? On? You gotta have. We gotta keep some cats in the bag, bro. Damn, I just like. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Yeah. <laughs> kitty cat. Kitty cat. <laughs> kitty cat. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. We'll tell you after. How about we tell them after? Okay. Off air. Yeah. Fine. I'm cool with that. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mystery, mystery, mm. mystery. Blunts or joints? Anticipation. Uh, either one, man. I don't give a fuck. Either one. Backwoods. <laughs> <laughs> backwoods is its own back. category. <laughs> Blunts, <laughs> joints, or backwoods? <laughs> What about you, my guy? Blunts. Blunts? Yes. Yeah, East Coast thing, huh? Yeah. You like <laughs> East Coast. You, you like the woods, the leaves too, or uh, more of a sw- my, my homie growing up, he was from Long Island. Okay. He he put me on the Dutches. Yeah. Dutches. I liked, I liked, when I was smoking, I liked Palma. Dutchies. The Palma Dutch. The Latin, like the, like the van- vanilla. vanilla. Yeah. What about you, brother? Uh, Probably papers. Papers. Yeah. Yeah. But like, like Raws. Yeah. Like, you got that decent, smooth. Like a decent paper, yeah. I feel you. All right. Um, this one is probably the best one on here. If you had a time machine, when and where would you go? What time? And, and don't like place? butterfly effect bullshit or like. Yeah, just like you're there shit. for like, a fucking go, day. Like, experience. And you got a bag of pot in your pocket. <laughs> you can where are you going? You can totally go to the and future. You can go too. forward too. Yeah. Just you can go to the future. Time, if you want. Marty McFly type shit. Damn. Except Modest Rob. Modest Rago, man. <laughs> oh my god. You can go as. I gotta see. I, I have to take a day in the Roman Empire, dude, man. What do you just mean? Look, you know what Y'all I'm need saying? to go to the I concerts. Go to the rock like, concerts. I go to bro. Woodstock. Oh, Woodstock. Yeah, yeah, bro. I don't know, Woodstock. man. Woodstock. I, there's a there's a lot of video of Woodstock. I seen I seen the footage. People dying and I shit out I there. I can't. You can't see the Roman Empire again. You know what I'm saying? That's true. That's true. Okay. And mean, that was like basically like yeah. the start of like civilization yeah, the of, real thing, of you know? law yeah. and order. Boom. From his core, dude, the most raw form. Yeah. You know? Money. Class. Okay, you. My guy. <laughs> Probably the twenties or thirties. That is a dope era. Yeah. You look like you would fit it. You would have that little <laughs> <Yeah>. slick. <laughs> I do have black hair. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Look, look, his, wow. would, his would come up this way with that little, like, Clark Kent swirl, and he'd have on that leather jacket, like, yo, what's good, guys? <laughs> Smoking a cigar. Uh, Might as well in the building, man. <laughs> me and my guys here. Me and my guys. <laughs> All right, fellas. Um, what's your favorite venue you performed at? Mm. It doesn't even have to be, like, in town. It can be even up where you live probably the az hip-hop festival that's tight yeah yeah a lot cool. of people were out there huh it's just, it's tight. we were on the, the big stage man so. yeah yeah right yeah that's what's up There's and like i said too. i saw your gear bro you were he wasn't playing that day <laughs> he jumped off stage really still yeah. playing no, i run i run around wireless with my guitar I was running through the crowd playing guitar dude. Fuck yeah Hell yeah man. i think that's a show bro i can't say names uh, but we like were we were stuck at the booth Cause we would just didn't have enough help that day. <laughs> That's all you. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Um, what is your funniest high moment? This is the last one, so I'll try to make it good. Funniest high moment you could think of. Mm. You guys got something? Think. One that just comes to mind, like yo, this just some. It could be dumb as fuck, like. 
Bro, I tried to put my Xbox controller in the refrigerator today because I was <laughs> trying to bake shit and put videos on for my daughter. So I don't know, man. I think I have a lot of those. I, I end up just walking around the house being like, what the fuck am I doing all the time? So You got to go backwards? Like, no, nah, I got to I gotta stay on a certain level so I can actually do things, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel Not like you, you know? You crazy. <laughs> Me is turning lights off, bro. Like I'll, I'll fucking get in the bed and be like, "Fuck!" I left the kitchen light on. Like, what the fuck, man? I don't care. <laughs> I, at that point, I gotta does. leave the lights on though, because my son, his ass, be running through the house, coming to the room, because he's all terrified of the dark. So <laughs> it's like the it's funny, but it's sad. Like the funniest thing to hear is like him running <laughs> across <laughs> the <laughs> house. <laughs> Uh, like with his pillow and shit like nigga you ain't that scared if you could grab your shit like (laughs) pack the bag Uh, (laughs) his pillow his blanket his juice like bro but nothing just Uh, I used to work at a dispensary um, oh okay and I like around like 4 o'clock we would take you know people at the dispensary usually take Take some edibles right right around when Rush would come in it would it would be like it would be starting to get pretty intense (laughs) and uh this one time this guy lost his card like inside like one of my patients he had lost his card and i I had like bought a bag of edibles pulled out my card to to buy the edibles with you know we're we're looking for this guy's card for like 30 minutes man i I reached in my wallet and i looked in my wallet and there was his card right there in my wallet. Uh, <laughs> uh, wow. what are you trying to pull bro i don't know if that's the funniest uh, that's moment, crazy no that's good that's nuts how did that happen <laughs> <laughs> whose fault was it though at that point is it like Dude, is it the bartender's fault at? Is it? Oh, you were the butt tender. I was the butt it's your <laughs> fault. It's your fault. That's crazy. Damn. Insane, I'm bro. thinking about it now. He probably was like mad. Like I could have <laughs> yeah. been at home getting high right now, young man. He he called up. He called us, and we were scrambling around looking for it. Yeah. That's okay. That been. makes it. Oh, we found it, I sir. Like yeah, it. that makes <laughs> it. Bad. It's not like he was sitting there and shit. No, oh, I would have been like stressed. Like, yo, say he got found it in the bathroom. No, you just blame it on him, <laughs> sir. You really gotta take care of your stuff better. Yeah. <laughs> How did you, you not you see me shit, put man, it in my <laughs> pocket, sir? What the they fuck? Were at first. <laughs> it was uh, right here on the table. Like, what were you looking for? Huh, dumbass. <laughs> Stop smoking. <laughs> well, fellas. It's been a pleasure, man. It's it really. I wish we had more time to just sit here because I, I want to. I, like I said, I want to just vibe, dude. Uh, Come on up north, dude. No, we, for I'm sure. Ready. Yeah, I'm ready. We'll plan that <laughs> shit for sure. We we're planning a lot of shit. We got we got need a vacation anyway. It I won't be a vacation. Like hip hop, and I was sold. Yeah, <laughs> that's Kyle's shit. That's Kyle's shit. Look at his shirt. I just like, went and saw Dark Star on. Uh, oh, that shit is <laughs> I still don't know who they are. Dude, yeah, they're know. they're really just a cover band of the Grateful Dead. But what they do know. is they take an actual Grateful Dead show yeah. and they recreate it, like with all the hmm. fucking improvs and jams and shit. And it was the fucking shit. That's tight, dude. Like and Greta Van Fleet. Oh well, yeah, Greta. Well no, they can't they don't they just they sound. Recreate. Greta Van they, Fleet's just stealing. They got the Sonics. sound. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They got that they sound. Sonics. But like this is they they did a straight up Grateful Dead set from November of 1973 that they played in Tempe. That's dope. That and shirt's they did it tight. At Tempe, like in Tempe, and yeah, it is. I did take like point eight. Well, it was it was fun. Boy, it was fun. I was about we had to. Do a good time. I like, almost threw it out. Like we we it was it was perfect. There you we'll go. Right there you go. <laughs> and with that, we'll move on to sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> now, for real though, shout out to our uh, sponsors. We'll start with Marijuana Evaluations. They're over there on 18th Avenue in Camelback. Anybody, uh, it's you're getting your tax money back. Spend it wisely. Go get a medical card. Um, let them know the hippie sent you. Uh, they got the best price in town. I promise you that. Um, after you get your medical card, you can go way out west to Valley of the Sun. Um, They're off MC85 and Eddie Albert Way. Uh, Their first-time patient special is phenomenal. You get 35% off the entire store. You get a medical jar. You get a free pre-roll. And if you show them the Hippie Life coupon or tell them Hippie Life sent you, you get another free pre-roll on top of that. So 
Um, they also just added the um, express order, which is you order online, your shit will be ready when you get there. And every Friday, um, they offer 10% off. So fuck oh. with that. They just revamped the whole store, um, the whole walk-in, more space. You can actually, they got a window to see their grow now. So oh, yeah, they just high. like they just upgraded the whole fucking sh- shop, bro. It's it's beautiful in there. So I'm probably gonna go there on the way home. I think we should all take a trip. Not today, but the next time we go out to your place, we might have to swing through there. Yeah, hell yeah, out that for sure. But it's pretty far out of the way for me. Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> we might have a little tie dye project coming up. Oh. Anyway, um, those shout are, I mean, we talked about those now, so get those tight oh, shirts. They I've, are dope. Yes. You've seen them on the yeah. on the Facebook and shit. These on the shirts are one we of a kind. We hand tie dyed them all ourselves. We put like They're four hours one into of this one. shit. Looking at one right now is fresh as fuck. Yeah, straight up. You guys, you guys seen them? They're all over Instagram and Facebook, and they'll be on this fucking po- episode. Cop one, because none of them look Nobody the same else is gonna have and it. yes and it's a fucking who knows if we'll do this again you know what i'm saying this is literally OG. we're right now deciding whether we should keep hand tie dyeing them or if we should go in and just get the pre tie dyed ones that all look the and same and all you guys look but like like if you guys order these up and like the hand tie dyed ones we will keep doing it for you also pre order your snapbacks coming out on March 15th uh, every pre-order, um, actually every order, as a matter of fact, comes with two free tickets to A. Jones' next show at Monarch Theater. Uh, that will be on March 15th. You get the connection there. Um, <laughs> two, two special things happen in that day. So um, make sure you cop some gear. Come out. Jones is going to be performing and competing for the bag so help my man secure the bag he's got some new tracks coming we're putting together a new set list he's got music videos we're gonna have merch coming uh hippie life is just y- y'all know what the fuck we doing you see it and with that let's take it into shout outs i start with my man jonesy let's do it brother um shoot shout out to my mom uh it's just my mom and i love her you know i don't tell her enough and that's it that's it for me Okay, but I will just once again just shout out to the wife. She's always got my back. Whenever we come through, she's just chill. She told me to come through the other night. She's like, well, why don't you guys just come here before the show? She is tight, so. dude. She's tight. Shout and of course, her. shout out to the Hippie Life crew. Yay. And shout out to you guys. I fuck it. I can't wait to hear more of your music. I can't wait to listen to the three tracks that are out there. And I want like a pipeline when you got new stuff. Let me yeah, know. for real. <laughs> Keep us updated. Yeah. I, I like stuff that you can't classify in a genre. Yeah. So that's what you guys are doing. And I am all about that. Yeah, break the mold, man. For real. Fuck yeah. I'm excited for you guys, man. You guys, you guys got big things coming. I can just feel it. For real. Just off that, your, your guys' performance. Like you're in the studio and you... You gave a perf- you still gave a performance. Like homie went hard on the mic, losing his breath. <laughs> Paul's out here just fucking. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't wait to see you in like live concert, bro. Concert show. Yeah, that was raw. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Modest raw. I'll give my quick shout out, man. And it's that's to my old lady. Like for real, for real. She's been holding it down, uh, watching the kids, making sure that they are taken care of, so I can get all this baking shit uh, out the way. So I just want to say shout out to you. I really appreciate you. You know, when I need shit, she'll run to the store. Uh, Basically, just make sure I'm straight in the kitchen and can be focused as much as possible. So shout out to you. Um, I don't tell you enough how much I appreciate you. So anyway, uh, shout out to the boys, man. Um, I love these guys, man. We've been just clicking more and more, dude, just working. And I feel like each time we hang out, we just like we come closer, bro. It just... It makes me happy to have like friends like you guys, you know what I'm saying? So um, shout out to you guys that you can take whatever I ask you and be honest with that shit, you know what I'm saying? And whenever it's time to get to work, there's no fucking complaints. And that's been the best fucking part of this whole ride. So shout out to Modest Raw. My niggas came through, blessed us with such a beautiful... Shout out to Hippie Life. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. <laughs> you guys, what you guys got? Yeah, man. Go ahead. Oh, you guys shit. can go down the line. 
Shout, who you guys want to shout out? Grateful for God at the root of it all. Grateful to be alive with you guys right here, right now. Talking to you great people out there. Um, grateful that the sun rose up today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it, man. We speak on one behalf. That's it. That's we it. unit, homie. We hey. we came as a unit. Good shit. That's, hey. Yo, we know we know what to say when we represent. I respect Modest that. Rye, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Modest Ra. Come as a piece. Hippie life. This is the Hippie Chronicles, episode 18. We appreciate you guys vibing with us. Y'all stay fly, stay high. Peace.